For more than 28 years, Darden Restaurants has built a reputation for being a good place to work. Our company offers competitive wages and a benefit package that ranks among the best in the restaurant business. We strive to treat people fairly and with respect because every job contributes to our continued success. This philosophy extends to the way we handle problems and disputes in the workplace because we know even routine differences can get bigger when there are no resources to help solve them. Our goal is to resolve all workplace disputes in a way that's effective and fair to all parties. In order to do this, we've developed four procedures to resolve workplace problems and concerns while protecting the legal rights of all parties. These methods are the open door policy, peer review, mediation, and arbitration. In this video, we're going to briefly outline each of these methods. You'll find more detail in your employee handbook or dispute resolution handbook. The first step in resolving a dispute is to use our open door policy. For example, if you disagree with the way a disciplinary action or management decision has affected you, or have another workplace concern, we encourage you to talk to management. This means you're free to bring up your concern to any member of management in your restaurant, or your operations director or senior vice president. They will listen and try to help you resolve the problem, or you can call the toll-free employee relations number in Orlando. All dispute resolution starts with the open door because an open exchange by the people who are closest to the problem provides the best opportunity for resolution. Well, I had a problem with my manager once and I tried to go talk to him about it, but he had a little problem seeing my side of things. So I was glad I could go talk to the director. He helped us work it out. The open door policy is good for everybody because it gives you a chance to speak to your manager, your director, or whoever and not be afraid about getting in trouble. They're pretty good about listening and trying to help you. If you're not satisfied with the results you've gotten from your open door discussions, you may choose to air your complaint before a peer review panel. A peer review panel is made up of co-workers and managers who've been trained to investigate complaints, weigh all the evidence, and make a decision. Let's say that after using the open door, you still disagree with how a management decision affects you and decide to appeal to a peer review panel. A facilitator will set up the review and help you prepare. At the review, you will present your side of the issue and the manager will present his or her side. The panel will listen, weigh all the evidence, and make a decision. All proceedings are confidential. Red Lobster has used peer review for more than two years with good results. I was skeptical about peer review at first, but going through the process really helped. They made me feel very at ease and very comfortable. I thought it was a good thing. I mean, it's a, a real benefit to the employees and it seemed to be really fair to both sides. Peer review gives everyone a chance to have their say. The panel looks at all the facts objectively before they make any decisions. It's not an easy process to go through, but it's worth it. If you or the company are not satisfied with the decision of the peer review panel, under DRP either may submit the dispute to the next steps, mediation and or arbitration. Of course, you still retain your right to pursue your claim with agencies such as the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission or the National Labor Relations Board. And the findings of these agencies will be handled by DRP mediation or arbitration, which are recognized by U.S. courts, including the Supreme Court, as effective ways to resolve workplace disputes. Mediation is the third step under DRP. It is an informal proceeding that brings in a qualified outside party called a mediator to listen to the dispute. The mediator is neutral and does not take sides. He or she does not make a decision about the dispute, but works with both sides to reach a resolution they both agree on. In other words, nothing happens unless both parties agree. The costs of mediation are entirely paid for by the company. If mediation resolves the dispute, the settlement is binding on both you and the company. The fourth and final step of DRP is arbitration. A single arbitrator from the American Arbitration Association will hold a hearing at which you may choose to be represented by an attorney. However, if you don't want an attorney, the company won't have one either, as the proceeding is a lot more informal than a lawsuit in court. After hearing both sides, the arbitrator will make a written decision which is binding on both the company and the employee. Who are these arbitrators? An arbitrator such as myself is a member of the American Arbitration Association. That's a 
nonprofit public service corporation that has been involved in this area for over 70 years. It has a very good reputation. We're trained to be impartial and neutral, and our decisions are recognized by courts of law. How are they chosen? The parties choose the arbitrators. Uh, each side will have an opportunity to review a list, uh, get some biographical information, and I can assure you that uh, there's a wealth of persons from whom selections can be made. Uh, their background, uh, both culturally and otherwise, will be very diverse. Isn't it better for the company in arbitration? I think the arbitration process works to the benefit of both sides. Uh, it is, after all, controlled and run by a neutral outsider, such as myself. And the cost savings and the uh, ability to move the decision forward, make a decision, and get it behind us is something that's of value to both sides. Can't I sue instead of using arbitration? No, because in the dispute resolution process, both sides agree to use that process rather than a court of law. Won't I give up some rights by going in front of an arbitrator instead of, say, to court with a jury? I don't believe so. The uh, goal is the same. That's a full, fair hearing. The only thing that changes is the way we go about achieving that goal. In arbitration, we can move to that goal quicker and sooner in a more informal and private setting. To try to move to that goal in a court setting often becomes time-consuming and expensive. And I can assure you that the court system will assure you that the arbitration system will be a full and fair hearing for you. But doesn't the Constitution guarantee every American the right to a trial by jury? Certainly anyone who's ever charged with a crime should insist upon a jury trial. But in a civil setting, uh, disputed in the workplace, for instance, this is not a matter that would be best tried in front of a jury. The amount of time that would be spent, the amount of money that would be expended to get before a jury with that sort of dispute does not make it cost effective. In almost any state in this country, you'd have to wait years before you could get before a jury. In a state like California, you'd probably have to wait five or six years. In the arbitration process, you're going to very quickly get to a resolution of the problem. And the key here, get the problem behind you. Get it resolved. You get on with your life. The company gets on with its business. The reason for exclusively using DRP is that, unfortunately, our court system is overloaded and slow. That's partly because civil lawsuits are governed by a tremendous number of rules and legal procedures, whereas the rules and procedures for arbitration are much more manageable, and you don't need a law degree to understand them. Arbitration is usually finished in less than six months, while a civil suit often takes several years. Both processes are equally fair and binding. But in addition to the time involved, the cost of civil litigation is now out of most people's reach. Dispute resolution is an excellent alternative for you and the company. The vast majority of our employees will never need any of the dispute resolution procedures we've outlined. But even though you're unlikely to use them, it's nice to know they're there to make sure disputes are handled in a fair, impartial, and speedy manner that protects the rights of all involved. Let's recap. Darden Restaurant's dispute resolution procedures start with our open door policy. This means first you talk to your manager or director or someone higher in management to resolve a dispute or call the toll-free employee relations number in Orlando. It's better for everyone to solve problems as soon as possible, so don't overlook this important right and benefit. If the open door does not resolve the dispute to your satisfaction, the second step under DRP is peer review. This is a panel of coworkers and managers who are trained to listen to both sides and make a decision. Peer review offers a way to present your complaint to employees like you who work in our restaurants and know our business. If you're not satisfied with the outcome of peer review, you may choose mediation or bypass mediation and choose arbitration. In either case, a qualified outside party is brought in to listen to both sides. In mediation, the mediator tries to help both sides agree on a resolution that is acceptable to both. If no agreement is reached, the dispute goes to arbitration. In arbitration, the arbitrator listens to both sides and then makes a final and binding decision, much like an experienced judge. 
Both of these methods are an attractive alternative to drawn out expensive civil action in court. Our goal is to make your career with Darden Restaurants rewarding and constructive. But if things go wrong and you have a dispute with the company, you have proven methods to get it resolved and we encourage you to use them. You'll find details in your employee handbook, dispute resolution handbook, and peer review folder.